Hello my dear students, welcome back. Today I am here with a very important topic from your syllabus. Hope all of you have seen the last all the videos of your different chapters. Students, here today I will talk about one very important question from your climate chapter. One question which is 90% uh, used to come in your climate chapter that questions which is a question number 3 question number 3 and D part this question will have the marks of 3 marks definitely this 3 marks just calculation part if you don't know how to calculate then this 3 marks there will not be added in your that also total marks but if you know how to calculate you easily can score without writing so so many that also that sentences or explanations okay so what we are going to learn today here in your question question number three which is which will have 10 marks total 10 marks out of that that also three marks will be given for this question d means three a b c d four part will be there four part then a and b will have two two marks four question c will have three marks and question d will have three marks so here what kind of question will come in your d part here see study the data of distribution of temperature and rainfall for station x this station can be given any of the name it can a b c d anything and answer the question below so here this is the table it will be given in your exam it sometime the here this is the station a x it is given sometime a b c three station can give come sometime two station can give okay first i am giving by one example that is so here station x months january to december then temperature in degree centigrade it is mentioned here every month's degree or uh, temperature mean temperature then rainfall in centimeter it is given here okay now the question given is station x in the coastal area or in the interior of the country now how you will answer that for that you have definitely have to see the theory part first i will request you to see the videos of the theory part then you come to that part so it will be very easy to answer this question we all know that coastal area will have a uh, that influence of sea bridge that's why we'll have moderate climate condition means the temperature variation will not be that much or not that much high and interior I mean continental part which area far from that sea or any of the water uh, bodies there will be the variation of temperature will be too much means the uh, summer temperature will be uh, 45 degree and that winter temperature is 5 degree means the difference is 40 degree but the coastal area will have a temperature difference is very less 3 to 5 degree now first we have to see to answer this question we have to see the temperature here the maximum temperature is showing 42 degree centigrade and the minimum temperature we are getting to see 10 degree centigrade so here if we will see the highest and lowest it is that difference is too much means it will be definitely interior it will not be coastal coastal area always will have 3 to 5 degree difference so it will be definitely interior of the country next question number two calculate the total annual rainfall very easy you all know addition total means rainfall in centimeters given all the months annual mean year so in a year 12 months are there you have to add 2 1 0 5 15 62 71 81 59 12 10 3 and it is coming 321 centimeter so how easy this is 321 centimeter total annual rainfall next number three name the wind that brings most of the rainfall to the station now how you will answer that for that part you have to see that the theory part 
but i am telling here the main maximum the rain, uh, rain bearing winds which also known in our country that is the south west monsoon this south west monsoon it basically shed shed rains in different parts of india except that eastern coast and northwest part that is having another influence we will talk later on but here the southwest monsoon is the most that also basically brings the most of the rain to station x okay so we will see some more question now students here i have also written another one question here station a and the data also i have changed here some question i have written what kind of question used to come in the exam see here temperature also here given rainfall the question is asking what is the annual range of temperature this question usually used to come in that exam so range means difference actually here highest minus lowest highest minus lowest temperature so highest temperature you just see in degree centigrade where the highest temperature 35 degree 35 degree centigrade and lowest temperature you see here that is 12 degree centigrade so you have to minus that 3 and then 2 23 degree centigrade that is the range so first question you have done very easy one marks you have got now alum which coast of india does the station lie now this is most important to know the, to answer this question you have to see the rainfall why because here i have just said that um, just one minute say, uh, before i have said that except south east monsoon the north uh, eastern coast and northwest part having that another influence of rainfall so here this influence we will get which coast of india does the station lie if you seen that video of the theory you have definitely seen due to during that winter season due to the withdrawal of monsoon andhra pradesh and tamil nadu coast mostly chennai that receive heavy rain when during winter season and also in the part of northwest part that is during uh, winter it received that rain at the part of that um, punjab haryana so both are receiving winter rainfall here see that november december january it is also having that winter rainfall now how we will get to know it is eastern coast or no, northwest punjab haryana in that case another odd trick is there you have to remember that eastern coast also receive some rain due to that uh, southwest monsoon that's why june july august also having rain due to southwest monsoon which strike in india in june month in kerala after that gradually enters in india so it is getting rain a rainy season it is receiving rain as well as by the influence of that withdrawal of monsoon it is re receiving the rain in that winter season many it is definitely the eastern coast of india because at the western side you never can get to see that the part also in the june july this amount of rain will be there because this is the very less rainfall you can receive on some time no rainfall okay so it is the eastern coast here eastern coast why eastern coast it will also receive the rain by the southwest monsoon less amount but maximum amount it received due to that withdrawal of monsoon okay next number 3 name the winds that brings rainfall i already have said withdrawal of monsoon withdrawal of monsoon and here you also can add north east monsoon because this withdrawing it is coming north from north east side over bay of bengal it is Uh, receiving moisture and striking at the eastern ghat okay so north east monsoon so three marks you have got now another question another question can come name the rainiest mean wettest and driest month very easy rainiest means when there will be maximum amount of rain see here this is the rainiest month 
which which month so here rainiest month is november and driest month means see the less rainfall which month we are getting we are getting less rainfall in these two months march april 1.5 cm and 1.5 cm we will write here that march and april this question it can come for any of the station table can be changed data can be changed but you have to know how to answer then here student sorry the second question it has skipped calculate the winter rainfall winter months you have to know the seasons basically we are having main four seasons and the seasons cons, uh, comprising of which months our that winter basically it comprising of that uh, december january february okay so here december january and february these three that rainfall we will add here is it clear is it clear? so here what is coming that you have to add and then you have to write in centimeter see students how you will calculate winter rainfall number 3 calculate the average mean this question also this is very casual used to come average or mean any term can come mean temperature here mean temperature i will write that see mean 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 average and how you will get the average that first here the question is rainfall it can ask that uh, mean temperature it can ask mean rainfall in that case if it is asking mean temperature you have to add whole that 12 months temperature okay then you have to divide by 12 if it is asking mean rainfall you have to add whole that also rainfall of the 12 months then you have to add by number of months mean 12 months you easily will get that the mean or average temperature or rainfall so these are the different types of question it can come here i am going to ask some more questions students see how you have to calculate the mean rainfall so students hope you have understood how you have to calculate sometime that also uh, uh, instead of uh, ta one table they can provide the board can provide two or three table and it can ask that calculate the least rainfall in which station least rainfall so for that you have to add the rainfall of 12 months of this three station or two stations then have to see which is having less rainfall okay so this kind of question you have to use your trick how you have to calculate sometime it can ask that uh, any of that like here it is clear that uh, this area is having that uh, monsoonal rain as well as the winter rain you easily has also mark this is eastern coast sometime it can ask which place which city you have to answer that is the chennai okay now here sometime these places are not have also july uh, june july august month is not having any kind of rain and winter rain is there so it can ask which station is there then you have to definitely see that the condition i have said for western disturbance okay so for western disturbance in that case you have to see that that place means of punjab and haryana okay so these are the difference question used to come in your exam say and see and practice some of that sample questions or whatever given data in your book you practice that definitely you will get 3 out of 3 and this is very easy if you will one one time practice then nothing is there and for your board exam all the best and see the video once again till then thank you